you get a lot of value added training here by coming to Savannah and getting to work with other units in the local area that uh, we wouldn't normally get to train with. This is a uh, graduation exercise for the 43rd Fighter Squadron as well as the 2nd Fighter Training Squadron. And uh, this is the end of our B course, which is our uh, new students that are going to go out uh, to the Combat Air Force and as new F-22 pilots. Uh, so this is one of the last things that they do before they graduate our course and, uh, and move on to their follow-on units. For the instructors within the 43rd, we get awfully used to just flying around the flagpole, as we say, going to our local airspace, fighting with the same people over and over again. And coming to an exercise like this, we get to do a lot of the same benefits that the students have. Meet new people, build relationships, practice our mission commander skills with large exercises, you know, 20 aircraft in, in the same piece of airspace. And we just can't replicate that at home, certainly not as cost effectively as we can here with the National Guard funding other units to come in and participate in this exercise. they take that away the one unit you know I, I don't I don't think they understand how valuable that is as uh, the teamwork that it takes to make this happen uh, if we we can take that back to home station with us uh, as long as they they do that you know we can make that happen and to me that's that's valuable Savannah is a, a great location. The airspace, for one, uh, out over the water is easily accessible by those uh, joint partners that I talked about. So, uh, you know, to, to just have a centralized location uh, to have all the dissimilar uh, air combat training take place, uh, it's just easy to get to um, for multiple MDSs. It's a great opportunity to come out here and, uh, and work with not only the T-38s that we normally get to work with as our, uh, our red air out of Tyndall, but uh, we also have F-15s, F-18s, F-16s. Uh, we've got tankers. These, these facilities and everything that they've done for us, uh, they, they've always supported us with everything that we've ever needed or wanted. I'd just like to thank those guys for having us here and uh, look forward to come back and continue operations out of here.